Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. I want to release weekly news videos that kind of update uh, and provide virtual reality news, sources, you know, links, uh, games. And it'll just kind of be an ongoing series that I will publish uh, for sure weekly, maybe every other day, uh, depending on how many newsworthy items there are. I want to keep these videos short and sweet related to just, yeah, news about things as opposed to game reviews or, um, you know, peripheral reviews, which I, I will focus more time on, on individual items. And in this video series, it's just going to be mentioning them in summary form, website links for you to check them out, etc. So let's start with the first item. So HTC has just announced their business edition of the Vive. I didn't know what to think of that. Um, I'm curious what you guys think. One thing I got to give the props to, and you guys know, anyone who's watched, that ultimately I'm going to own both, right? The HTC Vive was the first I ordered, and it honestly shipped within three and a half weeks. They said it was going to be June, right? Uh, July. And I ended up getting it in three and a half weeks. So I can't comment on supply chain issues in terms of, you know, a poor experience for Vive because it hasn't happened to me. I can comment on the Rift side of things and say, at least they've been honest. From day one, they've told me it's to be determined, rough estimate August. That's based on really the same order date within hours, days maybe, just a couple of days between my HTC Vive and the Rift. Now, back to HTC, and we're gonna talk about the supply chain a little bit more specifically, but back to the business edition. HTC is launching this. It's going to be called Vive B, so Vive Business Edition. It'll be software services that run alongside Steam VR. They don't replace it. Um, they run alongside it. It's 1200 bucks US, which is about 400 more than the consumer edition. Uh, I don't think that's a crazy price point. You, you think about it, companies purchase things like projectors, right, for presentations all the time. And up until recently, projectors haven't been cheap. They've been multi-thousand dollar units, right? So. And what I found funny, because I'm always talking about sweat and face cushions, and I had that peripheral video where I showed you guys where you can order leather and cotton ones. This comes with four face cushions. So what's going to be interesting about that is, honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I'm that sweaty coworker guy, like I can be, you know, uh, I can sweat profusely. I don't want to be wearing somebody else's, you know, drenched foam thingy. So only having four, I'm just being real, that's gonna be pretty nasty. So what they really, I hope they do with this business edition is have some kind of clean breathing material, like something that you can clean up. Otherwise, it's gonna be horrible. As for actual applications, I maintain just like, you know, when we talk about VR being an awesome tool to train people, that can apply to business, right? Office training, procedural training, uh, there's all kinds of cool things you could do with VR. You could mimic some real life situations, fire drills, you know, like all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's going to be neat. Let's see where that goes, right? Um, do I think it's completely necessary? Uh, no, but let's wait and see what um, that business edition offers, right? Software wise. We'll revisit that. Let's talk about supply chain again. So as I mentioned, my personal HTC Vive supply chain experience has been positive, right? Uh, and one thing you got to credit Gabe Newell with, Valve's great Gabe Newell, and I always joke that that guy, seriously, I picture him like Scrooge McDuck. He swims in a swimming pool with money because he just can do no wrong. The whole Steam digital platform, what a contentious issue in the console world, right? when we were going to the PS4 and the Xbox One, even just the mere mention 
for Xbox that it would be digital had people up in arms. And yet here comes Gabe, here comes Steam, uh, and just slowly kind of mass convert us willingly and unwillingly. Like here we are 2016 and the dominant publishing supply chain for PC games is Steam. Who would have thunk that, right? 10 years ago? I don't think anybody would have guessed that it would be this digital. And it's come with relatively little controversy, right? Compared to, holy smokes, like you guys know, right? What <laughs> Xbox One people literally with pitchforks, right? At Microsoft's campus. And the PS4 no better. Like, you know, they had hinted at it, but from a PR perspective, Adam Boys and company saw that disaster and quickly tread into the direction of, we're not going digital. And you know, it's an option, but we still believe in physical media. Because really, where can you buy physical media nowadays? Like even buying tax return software, it's a key and a download, right? You order OEM versions of Office, you're getting basically an ISO file to download and a, and a key, that's it, right? The kicker for Vive is people have been reporting 72 hour ship windows, order to shipment. Now that is from uh, Road to VR website. So I don't know how accurate that is. I will definitely vet that a bit more, but they claim 72 hour ship times. Based again on my personal experience, I can kind of believe that because mine was quick, three and a half weeks. And if they've accelerated their production even more, that's definitely, definitely doable, right? How about the Oculus Rift supply chain side of things? Well, positives there too. Some users are reporting units shipping up to a month earlier than anticipated. So people who originally told June are getting their shipments in May. So that's definitely a positive. And I'm hopeful that my August date turns into a June date by, you know, by the time uh, the end of June rolls around that I have a rift in my possession and I can start doing some reviews uh, on it and talking about it. And then this last kind of news uh, item that I wanted to mention is Sega joining the VR world. And I thought this was kind of cool because I like probably some of you kind of lamented the hardware demise of Sega. Sega to me growing up was always a mainstay, right? Whether it was the arcades and admittedly, when I got into arcades, which was the early 80s, Sega wasn't a huge presence yet, right? But make no mistake, by the time the 90s rolled around, or even the late 80s, it was hit after hit, right? On the arcade, Golden Axe series, uh, you name it. Like, they just really started delivering. And arguably, they had the better consoles. Uh, you know, you could go back and forth on that, right? I love them both equally, but I've always kind of had a soft spot for Sega fiascos of 32x and everything else aside right so what they want to do is they want to adopt the vr experience and they're going to use tokyo as a test bed which i think is cool because tokyo is one of those cities unlike north american cities where arcade machines never really died and that is super cool because it's another thing i've lamented is the demise of the arcade it's why i built my own arcade cabinet i miss you know, the social aspect and just the feeling of arcades. But I'm an older geezer, so that kind of goes with the turf, right? So anyways, it's the game that they're releasing, the experience is called Zero Latency. And here's the kicker. Uh, yeah, of course it's zombies, because this is Sega, right? So this is gonna definitely be zombie based. But the kicker is they call their VR space warehouse scale, which I think is just cool. So instead of room VR, uh, and up to six players via a backpack. So you carry a backpack with all the wires. So you don't have wires hanging around everywhere. So they're gonna put PC, GPU, everything in your backpack. Uh, I don't know how heavy that's gonna be. I can see, you know, uh, the skinnier nerds and geeks among us maybe having some trouble. <laughs> Hopefully not, but the thought is pretty cool that six people can run around in a warehouse size VR experience, right? So definitely cool, definitely gonna be following that. 
And that's it for this video because I want to keep it to 10 minutes. As always, guys, cheers. Leave your comments below. Let me know if I missed any news items. Like I said, I'm going to try to bang these out a couple of times a week just to update people on stuff. The next edition is actually going to be in a couple of days and we're going to talk about more games. So basically, a lot of the games that you guys have been telling me about, I want to kind of summarize and go over. All right, guys. As always, where's my beer stein? Cheers.